Hello family, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about the housing market forecast from Zillow. And Zillow is doing Zillow things. So let's jump right into it. Now they're forecasting a significant increase in home prices due to tight inventory levels. Now, if you remember back to the fall of 2022, they said there will be a decrease in home values this year. Now, if you remember back also, I told you I believe home prices will not crash and will be pretty level if not going up. Well, Zillow has now come around, saw the light, and they're looking at the data that I saw coming. So let's jump into it. On this channel, we talk about real estate, personal finance, and the Charlotte area. If you like any one of those things, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and do me a favor. Hit that like button and leave a comment regarding this subject matter so I can know if you like it, if you want me to continue doing more videos about it. Now let's jump into what Zillow is presently forecasting. Zillow is forecasting that home sales, not prices, home sales will be the lowest level going back to 2010. Now, that is very depressing for those looking to buy a home because there'll be less inventory on the market. But if you own a home, that's a very good thing for you. And I'll break down why that is. Zillow predicts 4.2 million existing home sales this year. Now that is not new construction, that is existing home sales. Now that is over a 17% decrease compared to 2022 and would make for a 13 year low in home sales due to the tight inventories and the high interest rates. You see, I believe inventory is so tight is because the Fed kept interest rates so low for so long that many people locked in their two, three, four, well, right now, 5% interest rate. And it has to be something catastrophic or some major life circumstances that's going to cause them to sell that home to buy a new home that's going to cost more and have a higher interest rate and have a significantly higher monthly payment. On the bright side, if you are a homeowner, the value of your home is likely to increase because there's such little inventory in the market right now. Now, in another video, I will talk about why I believe interest rates will be going down later on this year. So please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you can be alerted for that video. So in May of 2023, just last month, we saw a decrease of 23% in new listings compared to this same time last year. Now, when people are talking about the housing market and if things are going to go up or down, many people look at price, but I believe you need to look at inventory and not just the present inventory. You need to look at the new listings because that's gonna show you what's actually going to be on the market. And if new listings are down, that means inventory will be down. And even though there is less demand because there's 23% less new listings this year compared to last, the depressed inventory is causing prices to remain constant, if not go up in certain areas of the country. Now, if you are looking for the best interest rates, I say go with new construction. New construction builders are winning right now because they can price in buying down people's rates in the purchase price. They don't have to lower the purchase price, but they can offer to pay you 10, 15, $20,000 toward closing costs, not the purchase price to buy your interest rate from a six and a half, seven percent all the way to a 5% interest rate. I believe Toll Brothers is doing that right about now, 5.5, 5.6 interest rate. So if you're looking for the best deals available regarding price, that would be new construction. Since we talked about inventory being depressed, let's go back to the last normal year we had in real estate prior to COVID. Inventory right now is down over 45% than the levels we had in May, 2019. Now, if you ask anybody in May, 2019, if it was a buyer's market or seller's market, they will tell you it was still a seller's market. Now it wasn't the seller's market that was in 2021, but sellers still had an upper hand and there was 45 over 45% more inventory in the market. Then in fact, the level of active listings for May of this year is the fewest active listings on record since at least 2018. Now in the article, Zillow goes on to say that the low inventory levels is the probable cause for the strong home value growth this spring, which explains why we've seen home values increasing 
month over month over month since February of this year. And according to data from Redfin, home prices are up almost 10% since February this year. Now that's nationally. If you're looking at your own particular area, please contact a real estate professional to know the exact numbers for the location you're looking at. Now, when you look at Zillow's home market forecast, it says that the shortage and persistent trickle of new listings entering the market has caused the fastest month over month home value appreciation in nearly a year. Now, that is not something I wanted to hear. I do not want to see what we saw in 2021 and even in the early parts of 2022, where home values just skyrocketed. That is not healthy for anyone. So we do need more inventory. I just don't know how we're going to get more inventory. Now, if you're wondering if the crash of Airbnbs will spur that inventory, please subscribe to the page, hit that bell icon because I have a video talking about Airbnb and locales, municipalities, putting a halt on Airbnbs. And we'll dive in to see if that will provide some kind of relief to the housing market and cause prices to level off or even decrease. Stick around. Also an interesting fact in the article, it said that newly pending home sales, a measure of contracts being signed between buyers and sellers for existing homes, rose at a stronger rate than the market tends to see during this time of year, even as mortgage rates remain elevated. Now let's talk about mortgage rates. According to Mortgage News Daily, as of today, June 15th, 2023, the average 30 year fix for people with great credit, as I said, was 6.94% and the 15 year mortgage rate was 6.29%. Now VA and FHA were right around 6.64% for a 30 year fixed. And that's quite a significant increase from this time last year when the average 30 year rate was 6.03%. So Zillow forecast that home prices will increase over 5% in 2023. Remember it went from home prices being upside down when they gave their prediction in 2022. So right now, because of the lack of inventory, even with these elevated mortgage rates, they're saying home values will appreciate over 5%. Let me know what you think regarding Zillow's housing market forecast and home values increasing over 5%. I'm Sir Ashley. Talk soon.